Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and this time it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is a look at their brand new San Diego Comic Con slash online McFarlane store exclusive, Dread Lantern. Right? Everybody, everybody knows that one. Again, gold label exclusive. This one hails from Dark Knight's Metal. It's a bit of an Elseworlds tale, kind of, sort of. Alan Scott becomes the herald of Searcher, the, the DC Comics version of Searcher, right? So he's this big demon, he's walking all over Earth 2, and Alan Scott, to save what's left of his Justice League, makes a deal and essentially becomes a Silver Surfer and Galactus kind of thing, where he goes out of the universe and... I don't know. It's really dumb. <laughs> Let's just get through this figure. So I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. This is not one that I would have ever gone for. I am interested in the new collector edition, quote unquote, Alan Scott. But in the meantime, we're just going to have fun with this one. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This to look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the gold label exclusive Dread Lantern. So here's old Alan Scott all out of the packaging, right? Yes, it's Alan Scott. <laughs> Except he needs some Visine this time around. Now, he does come with this cool-looking weapon. It's a fire sword. It does have little paint details within the fire, a little yellow. It's very gummy, just FYI. But at least it achieves the look that I see from his appearance in the comics. Alan Scott is Dread Lantern. It's halfway there, right? Three steps forward, ten steps back kind of thing. Look at the artwork, right? Keep that in mind. Now, when you look at the figure, you kind of say, oh, yeah, I don't really know about Dread Lantern. I mean, I guess that's right. They left out some paint details. They could have put them in there. And then there's costume details that don't match because they wanted to use this body type again, right? So if you look at the head portrait, had they gone a lot more demonic instead of just... No expression. Like, he's got great hair. They put a little paint wash in there. The fire in his eyes, I don't really think it works. Like, maybe from some angles. But without the, the, the teeth and everything, it just looks bad. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I like his cape. He's got a big purple flowy cape. This time around, it should have been shredded because he's the dread lantern not the green lantern anymore and if you look at the symbol on his chest that's right the little pie plate things they're a little bit off right everything's everything's a little bit off he does have a green painted power ring it's sculpted in there at least that looks good from the promo photos I remember talking about these figures it just did not look good i'm happy to say in hand it looks a lot better he's got a fisted hand on one hand and you get the arms all the way up. You get double jointed elbows. I mean, you can get him doing all the powering Green Lantern Alan Scott poses, right? He's got these gauntlets, which they resculpted, right? So that's good. It's not total reuse, but it's it's fairly reused, right? I'm going to be honest with you. I think that this might be a good body type for a Superman, right? I think that would be kind of cool to see. He's a little bit bigger. Now, the boots, again, missing all kinds of paint. If you go back and look at that artwork... They're not really nitpicks, it's just kind of like, why did you put it on there? You know, it just kind of makes the figure blasé. <laughs> he doesn't have a flight stand either. Again, I'll say this over and over, I just feel like I'm beating a dead horse. Just from now on, when we have a flying character, yeah, I just want a flying stand. Because he looks awesome, flying around like that. He holds the sword with his trigger finger hand. We And, and that, along with the flight stand, no more trigger fingered hands if it's this type of character, right? Make no sense. Uh, now, in terms of the scale, he might be a little bit too big, but I like the more streamlined costume to him. Dread Lantern looks aside. When we ultimately end up get the Alan Scott version, right? From their, again, quote unquote collector line. That looks like a good Alan Scott. This would have been the extra pack in to put to make Dread Lantern to make it that collector line, right? Why do two figures in this... Again, this is not for me. 
this is just to help you out if you want to get one, right? And in terms of scale chair between Anti-Monitor and Doomsday, yeah, he's smaller than both, which is good. And I know a lot of people in my Anti-Monitor video, they want him to be a thousand feet tall and able to smash planets. Yeah, what kind of price you looking at for that one, right? But that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new DC Multiverse Gold Label Dread Lantern, Alan Scott. And again, thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. This one is just kind of like, yeah, it's not for me. It's a total wackadoo. It's a one-off character. This should have been all pack-in stuff for the new collector line. So, no, it's just not doing it for me. It might do it for you. Maybe you like the whole fiery eyes thing, but it's just not for me. It's not bad. It's just whatevs, right? So... You've heard my thoughts, now I'm curious to know yours, comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Dread Lantern, or we don't have to, we can talk about another figure, to be honest with you, and I'm gonna leave you guys with that, as always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember his plan makes no sense, why did he wait so long to make that deal with Searcher? Who knows, and when they do, let me know what you found, I'll talk to you guys soon, adios.